we want to consider the function f of x equals 3x cubed minus 5x on the closed interval from negative 2 to 2. We first want to find the average or mean slope on this interval. Then, by the mean value theorem, there exists a value c in the open interval from negative 2 to 2, such that f prime of c is equal to the mean or average slope. Remember, f prime of c would be the slope of the tangent line at x equals c. So once we find this mean or average slope on this closed interval, we'll find the locations where the slope of the tangent lines would be the same as this average slope. Before we do this, let's look at it graphically. The blue graph is the graph of the given function on the closed interval from negative two to two. The slope of this red line passing through the point when x equals negative two and the point when x equals two would be the mean or average slope. And then our goal is to find the x values on the function where the slope of the tangent line would be the same as the average slope of this red line. And notice how looking at the graph, there should be two locations where the slope of the tangent line would be the same as the average slope. There's a point here where the slope of this tangent line is the same as the average slope. There's another tangent line here where the slope is also equal to the average slope. So let's begin by finding the average slope on this closed interval. Remember the slope is equal to the change of y divided by the change of x. So in this case, the change of y will be the change of the function values. So we'd have f of two minus f of negative two divided by the change of x, which would be two minus negative two. So f of two would be three times two cubed minus five times two minus f of negative two would be three times negative two cubed minus five times negative two. All this is divided by the change of x, which would be two plus two or four. To save some time, this quantity here turns out to be 14. So we have 14 minus, this turns out to be negative 14 divided by four, this is gonna be 14 plus 14, that's 28, divided by four, which is equal to seven. So the mean or average slope on this closed interval is positive seven. And now our goal is to find the values of c in this open interval, where f prime of c would be equal to negative seven. To do this, we'll find the derivative function, set it equal to seven, and solve for x. So f prime of x, gonna be equal to the derivative of three x to the third, that would be nine x squared, minus the derivative of five x, that'd be just minus five. We're gonna know when this would be equal to seven. So to solve this equation, we would add five to both sides, that would give us nine x squared equals 12. Divide both sides by nine. So we have x squared equals 12 divided by nine, which does simplify, but since nine's a perfect square, I'll leave it in this form. So we have 12 divided by nine. And now we're gonna square root both sides of the equation. Notice how we are gonna get a positive and negative solution here. So we have x equals plus or minus the square root of 12 divided by the square root of nine, which is three but the square root of 12 does simplify. The square root of 12 is equal to two times two times three. Here's a perfect square factor, so this simplifies to two square root three. So we have x equals plus or minus two square root three divided by three. So there are actually two values of c that we're looking for. So we'll say c sub one is equal to negative two square root three divided by three and c sub two is equal to positive two square root three divided by two. We should not use rounded values unless we're told to round. But for the purpose of checking this on the graph, we will get a decimal approximation. C would be approximately plus or minus 1.1547. One so let's verify this by looking at the graph. Notice how this x value here, where the slope of the tangent line is the same as the average slope, is a little bit less than negative one. And the x value of this coordinate here, 
looks like a little bit more than positive one, again, where the slope of this tangent line is the same as the average slope. I hope you found this helpful.